This is CNC World, a new perspective. Plastic waste management has remained a big challenge to environmentalists in Kenya. Waste, especially the non-biodegradable plastic and polythene bags, have caused soil degradation, poisoning, and have even provided an avenue for germs and parasites to thrive. The Kenyan government, through the National Environmental Management Authority, has, over the years, tried to control the spread of plastic waste, especially in urban areas, but with little effect. But one man is changing the face of plastic waste management in the country. John Macharia ventured into plastic waste recycling in 1984. He was motivated to join the venture by his ability to repair his broken plastic utensils using polythene bags before going commercial. Every day, Macharia wakes up and heads to the dump site, which is within walking distance from his rural home in Elderit Town in Kenya's Rift Valley province. Here, he collects plastic bags and containers, which he carries back home to recycle. He said he is motivated by hygiene and a clean environment. Environmental pollution has been a nuisance, especially in the town's estates. There are plastic bags all over. It is not even safe for our children. When it rains, these plastic bags and containers hold water, which is a breeding ground for mosquitoes, which spread malaria. Once home, he sorts the plastic bags and containers apart. He later sets them ablaze in a specialized container where the smelted plastics flow to. He has a small blackboard in his homestead, which he uses to educate other villagers on how to change waste into cash into the quest for a cleaner environment. The first product he makes using the hot plastic liquid is a plastic leg. He stuffs clothes into socks before pouring hot smelted plastic on top in layers. He repeats this process over and over again to come up with a plastic leg that can be used comfortably by an amputee. This is part of a research project he is carrying out to help victims of road accidents and those patients who face amputation by providing cheaper plastic legs. I'm doing this mainly to get experience. Once I have it, I will develop these legs. They will be free for those who can afford and for those who that can't afford. I will give them free of charge. Macharia also makes utensils and decoration plaques. They contain different messages ranging from religious quotes, environmental protection messages, and even inspirational quotes. He is, however, haunted by the 2008 post-pole chaos that rocked Kenya, in which he lost all of his property. Through his artwork, he also shows Kenyans the need to live in peace and harmony and to avoid chaos, especially during elections. This is CNC World, a new perspective.